In this question, we are going to prove the geometric sequence. So, we know that S means sum. So, if I say SM, then I'm going to say, then I'm taking term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 plus dot dot dot, and I'm going to go all the way to term N, right? That is what sum means. I hope we're all happy with that. Sum means you're just going to add all the terms together. Now, because it's a geometric, we know that the TN formula goes like this, okay? So we know that term 1 is just A, okay? We know that term 2 is just going to be AR to the 2 minus 1. Term 3 would just be AR to the 3 minus 1. And term N would be AR to the N minus 1. Okay, so if we just simplify that, that'll be AR, because this just becomes a 1. This just becomes AR2, and then dot, 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 this just becomes ARN minus 1. Okay, what I want you to then do is I then want you to multiply that entire equation by R. So we're going we're gonna, to um, take equation 1, and we're going to multiply it with R. So it's going to become R. Sn, because I multiplied this by R. Well, actually, let's do it like this. Let's make that color. Sn equals to A. And then I'm going to multiply that by R. Or let's rather, that's going to take forever. So let's just go times another R, times another R, and then Rn minus 1 times another R. And there's the R over there. Okay, that I've multiplied on. And so what we then have is Rsn equals to AR plus, this just becomes R squared. This becomes R cubed. And then what do we do here? Well, if this is a 1 and these two bases are the same, then the rule says we must add the exponents. So you're going to say N minus 1 plus 1, which is actually just going to cause the 1s to cancel. And so you're just going to be left with uh, N. So you're going to be left with AR to the power of N. Okay, so that's where we were at up until now. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase everything just to make space, and I'm going to put the two equations next to each other. So this first one that we made earlier, and then the second one that we've just made now. Okay, okay now depending on whether they wanted you to make this one, or whether they wanted you to make the alternative, which is where the R comes first, well, that's going to affect the next step, okay? Because in the next step, we're either going to minus 2 from 1 or 1 from 2, okay? So can you see that we've got the R in the second position over here? So I want this R in the second position. So I'm going to take equation 1, and I'm going to minus equation 2. And so that's going to end up giving us um, Sn minus Rsn, because I minus these two, and then I need to minus all of this, but don't worry, it's pretty simple. You've got this A, and now have a look here. These two are going to cancel each other. These two are going to cancel each other. There would also have been another AR3 here, there would, and then something would have cancelled with that one, and then all that you would be left with is this one over here, like that. Now it's pretty straightforward. So all you're going to do on this side, you're going to take out a common factor. What is the common factor? S to the N, and you're left with 1 minus R. On this side, you're going to take out a common factor, which is A, and you're going to be left with 1 minus R N, and then you're just going to get S N by itself by dividing by 1 minus R. And there we've created the formula.